Hi everyone, this is Lady Beaver here and today on our No Adventures, I've got a mail haul today. So this will be our Mail Mondays or whatever we want to call them again, <laughs> I don't know. But yes, um, so yes, I've gotten a few different parcels, all Lego related, so I thought I'd already open them up just to check if they were Lego and things like that and all that sort of jazz. So. Uh, we're just going to open them up fully and show you what's inside. Okay, so our first one, it's just a small spatula. Um, this came from just a, um, a small eBay, eBay seller. Actually, all of these are eBay. Um, I have never bought from Bricklink just because a lot of the times the shipping is really crazy and things like that. And <laughs> at least coming from like America to Australia and things like that, um, I found that I can't really afford it's from there and it's just a bit cheaper at least personally for me um buying off ebay most of the time now this one was a um a little bit of a bulk lot all being um all being <laughs> all being <laughs> i don't even know what i'm saying all being um what is what's this Oh my god, I am just not in, I'm just off in the, with the fairies today, I don't know where my brain is. Um, being Lego maybe. So, um, in this one I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight, um, three being Unity Kitty funnily enough. And yeah, so uh, I do have some of these and I don't have some of these already, but it was a bulk lot and it was fairly cheap and I just had to buy it. Mainly because of these two. Good cuff and bad cops, ma, ma and pa, or pop. So yes. So we're gonna start off with pa. I think his name is. I don't think it's pop because that sounds like a grandfather's name. So our first one is pa. So cute. So he, uh, I think a lot of these will be double-sided faces. So this is like when he becomes frozen with the craggle. And yes, and without Pa, you can't have Ma. So this one is too cute. Look at her, she's so cute. She's got like adorable little face and she's also got the same kind of expression as Pa. So very, very cute. Um, these look like they're in fairly good condition. Like I've got like a, a little bit of a a mark on the back here but it looks like it's just a bit sticky but yes um looks like all of these are in top condition which is what i like so why don't we go next with a unikitty uh, i might not open these ones up just because her pieces will probably just pop off and everything like that so we have an angry unikitty here so this is one of the three that was in this collection I can't remember I can, actually I don't know what most of these figures are from um, but I know some of these are quite common so I think that's why I've gotten um, more like I've gotten a couple of um, ones that I've already gotten things like that so this is one of the angry kitties but this one is super angry um, let me know if there's like one where it's got her big mouth open because um, like like when she's like built up quite a bit and just wants to eat everything because um, I would actually be keen to get something like that because I love Unikitty and I think she is one of the best characters ever so um, she really makes that movie along with like Batman and things like that just with their like totally crazy emotions and especially well but Benny's Benny's my homeboy he, he's my favorite though so we've also got a business kitty I definitely didn't have this one I this one looks like it's probably from the um, Lord business's lair or whatever you call that one but yes this is too cute so as you can see she's got um, drawn on glasses she's got a uh, percentage a euro a dollar an at sign and just a asterisk so yeah so that is our business kitty now I'll take out this one so this one is the hooded one um, of wild style um, as you can see this is her she's just kind of giving us a little bit of a smirk half smile kind of thing with this one but as we turn it around she's got a bit of a 
stern looking face um, with that. So um, I've already got this one I think from another lot that I bought um, a little while back. Um, I might have to pull them out and see um, what I've actually got now <laughs> in regards to the Lego movie um, figs. So and our last one but not, oh actually no it's not my last one, I'll, let, I'll say the last one in a second. <laughs> And we have a Benny! This looks like his um, spaceship, spaceship, spaceship um, um, face, which is more. Yeah, this face here. This is the best face. He's so cute. Oh, he's just like, oh, with his little smile. But that face there is too epic. <laughs> um, I believe I've got this one as well, so I'll have to have a look and see what I have and what I don't have in regards to these um, these minifigs. Yes, the reason why I'm buying these minifigs is because I didn't actually collect any of the sets at the time. I actually didn't even, considering how much I love Lego, um, I didn't actually see this movie at the cinemas and I only had seen it probably only a couple of months ago now and now I'm obsessed with it so reason for me to buy these things. <laughs> okay, our last one is Vitruvius. Um, this is his version of, oh, shit. <laughs> of when he is normal blind version. Um, I actually do um, have the couch um, that I picked up from my friend's shop. Um, Galaxy Toys recently, or sorry, Brick, um, but she's just changed to um, a website and she's changed the name to Brick Chick, so have a look there. Um, and this is the Trivius. Um, as you can see, there's his like, well, his lollipop slash stick. Doesn't look like it in the movie, what this is, but we, we get it. Shush, buddy. Sorry about that. They're gonna they're probably be squawking for a bit. <laughs> um, but yes, hopefully I'll be opening up the um, the double decker couch soon, so I'll be able to show you guys some more awesome um, old school. Well, it's not even old school. <laughs> um, um, Lego movie stuff. So that is pretty cool. So that is our first lot that we got here. Um, our second one is a sub. That's it. Okay, this one is some. some just, um, this is a little bit of a mixed lot just because um, they were selling them relatively cheap. Um, not with all the accessories. Well, um, the only one that came with all these, like all the accessories, is my King Triton or King Neptune, whatever you want to call him, King of the Sea, whatever. This is a pretty epic fig. I really, really like this headpiece. Um, it's really, really like sculpted well. Um, the beard here is like kind of Fu Manchu like, but I guess they don't want to give him like a, a big Christmas beard or um, um, Gandalf kind of style beard. Um, but under here, uh, he does have pretty mean six pack um, and. Off his head. He only has one sided face, but it's pretty cool with his bushy eyebrows that he's just got a stern face. So, very nice. Um, I, I'm trying to collect at least um, not just all the minifig series and things like that, but I actually want to start collecting the mermaids just because. Who well, doesn't like mermaids? So, this one, actually the moulding on this is totally different, looks a little bit different to the Little Mermaid because I, oh wait is it, oh no it's the same, it just looked like it was different because I couldn't see the the um, seam line um, where the two um, parts connected but he is totally awesome. Now this one um, doesn't come with her um, starfish but I'm pretty sure I've got an orange starfish somewhere in my parts box so this is just a mermaid I don't know if her name is anything in particular I'm pretty sure it's probably just mermaid um, she is a really nice color to contrast I guess her dad probably I'll just call it her dad 
Um, I'm glad that I didn't do um, a redhead back here um, to kind of be like cheeky uh, Little Mermaid kind of style. But Little Mermaid, I'm pretty sure, was originally blonde in the novel, so there we go. Um, we'll take off her hair just so you can see. Uh, her clamshell is quite vibrant just because of the um, silver outlining but it's just a um, like a creamy colored shell um, with the silver outlining um, but you can see the silver goes down here and up into her necklace as well and she is amazing so I'm um, I really like um, the mermaids and I really want to get the mermaids at least from the um, one of the um, um, sets from what was it Pirates of the Caribbean so whether I get the set entirely or I just buy the minifigs, but yeah, I don't know yet. So that's probably something until next year, I think. Um, but yes, I got the weight, uh, the, the royal, bleh, I don't even know what we should call it. Like the royal roller skating waitress. Um, this is how she just came. Unfortunately, she doesn't come with her serving platter or, or the bottle that's supposed to come with it. Um, I'm pretty sure it's easy to find a, I think this comes with a clear bottle so I'll be able to find that one fairly commonly um, but it's just the platter that seems a bit rare so um, tell me if you see a platter and a bottle because I need that actually to, I need actually two of them to go with um, my waiter that I don't have um, a platter eat out or his wine bottle which is probably going to be a bit harder to get as well so but this is the waitress. Um, Ah, uh, this is her. <laughs> I like this one because I really love her rockabilly hair. Um, it's really got the full like victory roll at the front, swooshy thing. Though I guess it's not really a victory roll, but she's got like this mm, not really happy face. But we have a happy face, which is great. So I like this face a bit better instead of the disgruntled um, <laughs> waitress face. <laughs> I know what it's like so you know you get a bad customer and you're not not always in a good mood afterwards so but I was always a happy waitress most of the time so we'll keep her on this side okay um and I just got this guy I got Thor and Oakenshield mainly because I like the Hobbit and this guy was pretty cheap so um because most of the um, Hobbit minifigs now are going up in price quite significantly since um, the movies have ended, what is it now, almost two Christmases ago, well, counting this coming Christmas, and um, these sets have been quite um, discontinued for quite some time now, so yes. There's Thor and Oakenshield. I hope to get all the dwarves because I really, out of Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit, really like The Hobbit. So I want to get all the dwarves eventually anyway. So <laughs> I don't care about, I just want to get like maybe the, their main outfits, not really the ones when they get changed at um, Lake Town. So the Lake Town, no, um, at the Melbourne Village. So yes, what else? Now this one came all the way from England. Um, and not really many fakes. Sort of. I got them mainly, uh, well I didn't mainly just get them for the minifigs, I got them um, just because they were a little bit different and things like that and I want to do more polybag stuff and I also want to collect a particular set even though I know how expensive they are now. But we got a couple of, um, hopefully this isn't too loud, I'll try and not be too loud. Um, I, got this, I got these mainly because they were fairly cheap but mainly bought it because of one other reason. So. Um, this is just a Lego City like police boat. <laughs> I don't know. Um, um, poly bag. That's pretty. I just wear it because it was like seven bucks or five bucks. Pretty cheap. I got this even though I know it's really common. Um, I don't have it. So this is this one's actually Lord of the Rings, and this is Bilbo. Is it Bilbo? No, it's Frodo. This one's Frodo. This is Lord of the Rings. Um, inside like um their hobbit hole 
just just accessories to put in there and things like that. So this would be good. Some of these um, accessories would probably go really well um, if you have the Hobbit Hole um, sets from the Hobbit. I think it's one of the Hobbit sets. I don't think they, I don't remember them doing one um, for the Lord of Rings. So, but there it is. Our last one is just because I've been wanting to collect some of these but I wanted this figure in particular and that is the um, one of these planetary sets um, this one has the this is a cloud city one we rarely rarely get cloud city stuff um, and we haven't had like cloud city in a long time and all that sort of stuff we haven't had one of these in a very long time um, but I wanted it because of um, Lobot um, and yeah, so this comes with Bespin, the planet, a um, Cloud City twin pod um, ship, plane, I don't know, what do you call this? Ship, let's call it ship. <laughs> and you come with Lobot. Um, so I'll be opening up these one, these um, poly bags and this one in a separate video. Um, but yes, something to look forward to. So yes, um, this is only series two two and um there's a mini x-wing and there is also a mini at so it'd be cool to get these um probably this one just because i know that the i think the minifigure is you, you've been able to get them in other things and they don't look that great though i really like the oven for planet more so than anything um and that's one would be really cool because it comes with an AT. Oh, sorry, this is ATST. I don't know if I said ATAT. Um, ATST um, and the pilot, ATST driver, pilot, whatever you want to call him. So yes, that is it. So I guess what did I? What am I listening? What am I? What did I want most? Out, like what? What am I so excited about out of this? Probably really like the King Triton out of all of them probably like I love the mermaid but he just oh, I'm, not, I'm not holding him <laughs> um, he just looks really really cool um, and I think I really wanted Ma and Pa um, most out of um, my other other things so yeah so out of the first lot I was most looking forward to my Ma and Pa my second bag was King Triton and my third or box in that one was this one so yes um thank you very much for watching if you like this give video give us a big thumbs up i will hopefully be getting more parcels in the near future um and buying some more lego obviously um comment down um comment what's your favorite minifig or set little mini set that i got out of this was um Tell me if you liked what I liked out of this, I guess, <laughs> most of all. And um, click that subscribe button below to keep updated with more of these types of videos and toy unboxings and all that sort of jazz and gameplay, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> but yes, thank you very much, my lovelies, and we'll see you in the next No Adventures. Bye!